<laughs> Welcome to the Football Tourist Guide. This week, Jane and I are off to Coventry. everyone, we've arrived in Coventry. We are outside the Coventry Transport Museum. We're on a quest to find the link between the Arfield Club and Coventry Transport Museum. I'm no, sure. it's not a link between the Arfield Club. <laughs> what is it then? So in here we have a quest. To, there's a link in here back to Blackpool and the Arfield Club and that is our mission to tell you all about that today. Or we'll get someone in there to tell us all about that. Yeah. Well, here we go. Magic cure. Do that, yeah. Is it Jane? Yes. yes. Let me grab those tickets for you. Thank you. We've got a new exhibition just left. I'll wrap them in that first before you can rest in the field. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So, which one are we going first? They're my little like, season tickets, these. They're really cool. Yeah. My legs aren't going to reach them pedals, are they? Look at that. <laughs> too short to be a full wheel on drive. Well, maybe I can move. Oh, I'll oh, adjust yeah. it, look. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, they reach the right. This is way too big for you. <laughs> I need a, what do you call it, platform. Jane versus Lee, I am blue. I'm in this one. You try that, so that holds it close your car there. Don't go under it, I don't know. not cheat. It's not cheating. That's it, it just lies on like that's it. Right, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I've got to say, if you come to Coventry, this is a fantastic museum. I highly recommend it. Is that a lucky sign? A tangerine tandem? Vehicles, cars, motorbikes, it's amazing. We made our way around until we came across Coventry City FA Cup winning bus. Oh, this is the man from Blackpool. Yeah, it's really alive. I found him. So he moved from Blackpool to, to Coventry, didn't he? Yeah. They created a partnership, uh, William Lyons and William Wormsley, to uh, manufacture sidecars. Right. This was a Swallow Sidecar Company. By 1922, they had a small workforce in Bloomfield Road, Blackpool, and yeah. that's where the Armfield, Armfield Club, Club is, is now. Yeah, now we're talking, aren't we? We're getting a bit more modern now. It's the future. I love concept cars. They're so cool, aren't they? One speed records got faster and faster. 103.55, 150.76. Now 231 miles an hour, 301 miles an hour, 407 miles an hour, 600 miles an hour, 630.388. Thrust at 633.468. Wow, look at that, my God. That is absolutely stunning. The thrust has done 763 at 035. And we've got the Bloodhound. Oh, that's an impressive piece. So that is designed to actually go faster than 1,000 miles an hour. Fantastic museum that, absolutely brilliant, but Jane has, has, has one little gripe about it. Well, uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank the Coventry Transport Museum for memorialising William Lyons uh, in the form of a statue in there, which I wasn't expecting, so that's wonderful. I was yeah. thinking, is he not going to be in here? But there's a whole little corner on him uh, with one of his sidecars, which was superb. So thank you, Coventry Transport Museum, for that. Um, but I didn't see any trams in there. No, no trams. Well, we love a tram, don't we? We do, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe trams have never been to Coventry. You can see how this is an old grammar skill, can't you? Some stunning. Uh, these are very good, aren't they? I like that one. 
I'm Pippa. I'm right, part Pippa. of the city host team for Coventry City of Culture right. 2021. Um, this is the um, exhibition at the Old Grammar School in Coventry yeah. City Centre of Richard Sadler's um, photographs dating from the 1950s onwards, so post Second World War. Right. Um, this is the first of the uh, exhibitions. There's going to be another one uh, probably in about six weeks' time. This, is what, this one will run for six weeks, then there'll be another one in six weeks' time, which focuses more on his kind of work with the court old uh, company and uh, some more industrial like photographs and then after that after another six weeks there's going to be a final exhibition of the, the uh, photographs that he did of the uh, cathedral very right. interesting it's <laughs> yeah. okay Can you reach? <laughs> there you go. Four right. pounds. Four pounds. Don't stop me now. Show a bit of Coventry tunage as well. Yeah, have a bit of Abba. There we go. Yep. The donkey box. There we are. I'm coming. Tiny. <laughs> it's just so. Where you can sort of like lean to, to give, create more space. That's very important. Oh, yeah, it's a little leaning pulse. You like this? <laughs> yeah. There's the um, guy that brought the donkey in. Oh, there's an actual donkey? Yeah, that's the story. I'm pretty sure he said you could fit a donkey in here, so he brought a donkey. To prove it? Yeah. <laughs> well, to prove good. how big it is. <laughs> you can actually get a donkey oh, in. Oh, that's superb. I think the most people have had in is about 30, wow. 32. The, wow, really? It was Crazy, packed. yeah. Well, that's amazing, there you go. 30 people? No way, is that? <laughs> that sounds like a sort of decent sized lift, isn't it? Yeah, it is really, really small. Just get that just, just one. Yeah, the donkey box. Thank you very much. Here we are at Spon Street. I'll just let Jane tell you all about it. Yeah, basically, in Coventry's bombs um, during the war, they there was a big redevelopment project. Right. And they actually got rid of a lot of the medieval buildings, and there was a bit of outrage. Right. Um, and they re they moved some buildings from another area into this area, so they're all together. Right. Uh, but some of them, you know, not quite as they were. Right. But okay. it's still kind of cool. Yeah, they kind of added those, that chimney on that doesn't really fit, does it? But it's a shame. Could at least the buildings survive. Yeah, they did keep some of them, but well, they got rid of a lot, didn't they? Which is kind of a shame. Really. Yeah, very, uh, very quirky street. Go on, so what are we trying to fit in here, Jane? Well, we're currently on Spawn Street, which is there, yeah. uh, for the Watch Museum, which is closed. Okay. We've got to go to the Lady Godiva statue, who is here. Right. Uh, and the Coventry Cathedral, which is there. But we've got to be at Lady Godiva on the hour. On the hour. For reasons you'll find out. Okay. Cathedral. There she comes. Ah, uh, there she is. 
she is. Lady Godiva. Oh, and there's, there's peeping Tom. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is looking over as well. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Fargo Village. What we have to see? The Bill Cole Museum. It's just got directions to the uh, museum and uh, told us uh, right at the robot. So there we go. Hi, my name's Steve Everett, and I'm uh, owner of Sergeant Bill Cole's Vintage Emporium and co-curator of the Phil Silvers Archival Museum. We've been involved with Phil Silvers now for 41 years. We, were, we used to write to Phil in the early 1980s. Right. Um, we launched his Appreciation Society in, I think, about 1984. He gave his blessing in 1985. And then we launched the museum when I set up in Fargo Village uh, in 2015. So we're seven years with right. the museum. So it's a real labour of love for you then, this, it's isn't it? It's a true labour of love. Is yeah. a lot of this museum stuff that you've, you've collected personally then? Uh, it's a combination of uh, collections that me and my co-founder Mick have collected over the last 40 years. And more importantly, uh, items that have been kindly donated on long-term basis by uh, Phil Silver's family. People do actually think Phil Silver's was, was Top Cat, yeah, but, but it wasn't, it was just Phil Silver's impersonator. I don't even know if Phil was approached. Yeah, a guy called Arnold Stang that did actually work with Phil. So that's Maurice Gusfield and he voiced Benny the Ball. Oh, well, he was Benny the Ball. So you can actually see that Maurice actually looks like this cartoon character. Bob Odenkirk, who plays Saul Goodman, yeah. has based his Saul Goodman character on the Bilko character. So when you watch Better Call Saul, it basically is a modern day Bilko uh, and you're rooting for him because he's like, you know, he's the underdog, yeah, just, yeah. just like Bilko was. So yeah, Bob, Bob Odenkirk's a big Phil Silvers fan. The television, it's a late 1940s high television which was manufactured just up the road in Birmingham. Right. Um, we cheated a little because we bought it complete but um, to plug it in might have been a little bit dangerous so we've taken out the internals and we've put in a, a DVD player with a screen and it works. It's effective, isn't it? A very spawn street. <laughs> yeah, so, so oh, it's just a DVD. Oh, okay. It's clever though, isn't it? It does the job, doesn't it? Gentlemen, I'm sorry that the conditions of this were so misrepresented. That watch, the Hamilton watch, was uh, given to Phil as a present from his close friend and comedian Jack Benny. That watch has been held by Phil and Jack Benny. Oh, that's, that's, that's priceless then, isn't it? cells to yeah. the opening credits of the show. So, five cells yeah. and 16 pages of storyboard artwork. We haven't got everything on display because of lack of room. Right. But these, yeah. to find, we're still researching these, but we think we found out the animation studio and the artists responsible. But these are, irreplaceable. Phil Jupiter saw these for the first time and um, we let him hold one and he was shaking with excitement because he's a big animation fan. But yeah these there's these are these are not even in the CBS archives. Wow. Yeah we do our own exclusive range of Bill Co. Phil Silver's merchandise and that is available by visiting the museum or, or through the website which is www philsilvers.co.uk and you can also buy the merchandise through uh, uh, if you search Sergeant Bilko's Vintage Emporium on Google that will bring up the website which is sergeantbilko'svintageemporium.com So what's this Jane? This is, I thought we could use this for the um, Football Tourist Guide to Preston Yeah, that's it Oh yeah, <laughs> the land that I forgot <laughs> <laughs> So we've got a Dalek in the shop What a it's shop this is a one-off build what do, you, what do you think of this shop Jane? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It is, like you say, a joyful shop, isn't it? It's just, everything's just wonderful. You just walk in and smile, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of love to it, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we like, that's what we like, isn't it? On the, yeah. On the tourist guide places that have got a lot of love in them, you kind of, you can tell and I get more out with them. Yeah. Rather than if you go into like a chain place and it's just, they're all the same and the shopkeepers don't, not bother who you are, not bother talking to you, just to, you know. Yeah. a customer to them but actually we've been really welcomed here so yes. that's, that's lovely stay where you are stay where you are you have been identified as the doctor you must be exterminated exterminate exterminate scary thank you very much indeed thank you, thank you.
Thank you very much. Yes, Steve. thank you for visiting us. Much appreciated. Okay, thank you Enjoy very much. Enjoy the match tonight, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. How did you find this pub, Jane? Someone recommended it to me on Twitter, but it's won lots of um, camera awards for Pub of the Year, so I'm hopeful about it. Right. It's got a sign outside for Cameron's Strong Arm, which is the beer, you remember the banked beer I had in Hartlepool with a flake in it? That was a Cameron's Strong Arm, so if we could smell that in there, that'd be nice. We are, uh, we're there. Okay. Apparently it's a straight wall. Well, you could, yeah, you could walk to the ground from here. Chips, Jamie's having what are you? Um, I'm having uh, chili and rice and garlic bread. Garlic bread is the future. Beautiful stadium from the outside. Look forward to seeing what it's like on the inside. Right, we're going in. Thank you. Dale starts, Robson starts, Nick Piteta and Reese James from Saturday. I'm going to go with 1-0 Waffle. Johnny, what are you going with? I'm going to, one each I'm going for. One each, I'll take the point. Yeah. From the stands of Mercury! We are at Coventry at the Rico Arena. It's impressive, I've got to say. It's really, really impressive. I'm a little bit worried about four changes, if I'm being honest. I would have stuck with the same team, but... They are very quick, 
Um, the second bowler gets the ball, they're straight to him. At least three players are on him, like he's boxed in. Yeah. So we might need to capitalise on that a little bit more. Uh, maybe not put too much focus on him, even though he is one of the best. But, you know, I, I, I'd be happy Tuesday night with a draw. But I don't think we're done just yet. Like, it was a good goal, like, a really good goal. And I'm feeling Reading vibes, like, Reading vibes, so. Hey, Reading vibes, that'll do. That's yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Peter. Peter, thoughts on the game today? We were all over you in the first half, man. You were? We should have got more from that first half. Are you sure? Um, second half, you were, you were, I think it was more even in the second half. You were like yeah. quite even, but to be fair, and you got quite a lot of decisions went your way as well. Like how many handballs? I think about four handballs. Um, <laughs> we didn't see them. Oh, no. Yeah. You never do, do you? <laughs> from where you were a few years ago to where you are now, 15,000 there, it's only a massive... You've exactly, a like, way. it's because of how good we did, like, early on the season, so where we were, yeah. you can be disappointed yeah. if you look at this on the season, yeah, but yeah, if you look, look at the bigger picture, yeah, like, you could be happier, like, where we are. Hope you really enjoyed that video, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking that button there. And also, if you enjoyed this Football Tourist Guy video, then why not check out another one? Maybe one of my favourites, this one here, or maybe one of Jane's favourites, that one there.